Hello, this is Mr. McGovern, and this is the fourth video in the Modern Physics series where we try and explain the photoelectric effect. So we've introduced the experiment, we've looked at some observations, and in the last video we looked at three observations and how they either were or were not uh, explainable by the wave model. So let's just recap that. The first observation was when we had uh, more light intensity, so a brighter light, we found that more electrons came off the metal. Now that was explainable because if we think about light as a wave, having bigger waves hit the metal kind of made sense to us um, that more electrons would be knocked off. The second observation, however, was that if we change the intensity, the brightness of the light, it didn't change the energy of those electrons that came off. Sure, more of them came off, but they weren't coming off any faster. Um, and so what we found was that with a wave model, the best we could say was that we thought bigger waves would give the electrons more energy, so brighter light. Um, but it didn't. So that was not explainable using a wave model of light. The last observation was that if we ch change the, the frequency of the waves, or the wavelength of the waves, that changed the energy of the electrons that were released from the metal. And a higher frequency led to higher energy. Now, thinking about that with waves, it wasn't really explainable. Changing the frequency didn't really predict that the electron energy um, would change at all. So. There's another one that wasn't explainable uh, using the wave model. Into this comes uh, young Albert Einstein, which I'm sure you've all heard of. So in the early 1900s, uh, he was basically an unknown PhD student. He published in 1905 three very important um, scientific papers, um, which thrust him into um, scientific stardom. The three papers were, um, the first one was on Brownian motion, which was... Um, proving the existence effectively of, of atoms. He then had a paper on special relativity, which um, effectively broke down uh, Newton, Newtonian mechanics. And the last paper was on explaining the photoelectric effect. So um, von Leonard was the person uh, who came up with the experiment and the observations, um, but couldn't explain it, and it was Einstein who went on to explain, um, or propose an explanation for what he found. So what did he ex explain, or what did he propose? So he proposed that light itself didn't just travel as a wave, as a continuous wave, but it came in small energy packets, or small energy bundles, or small energy quanta. So that's where the word quantum for quantum physics comes from. It just means um, discrete amounts of energy. And, and so it might look something like this. So the name photon we now use to describe this um, energy packet of light. Einstein didn't come up with the name, but he came up with the idea. Someone else came up with the name a bit later on. The energy of each photon, uh, of each light packet, um, is a constant h times its frequency. And h is uh, called Planck's constant, um, and it's a very small number, 6.63 by 10 to the minus 34. Now, on the metal, when the, the photon hits the metal, each electron can only absorb one photon. It either has enough energy from that photon to escape, and then we see it escaping, or it doesn't have enough energy. Um, it gets faster within the metal, but then it has enough collisions with other electrons in the metal, it just kind of goes back to a steady state. So for an electron to escape, it can't keep accumulating lots of photons. It has to get enough energy from one photon to escape uh, to get out. So let's see if we can explain these same observations using this light packet or energy packet um, idea. So the first one, more light intensity gave us more electrons being fired off. So with these energy, with, with these photons, brighter light or more intensity, it just means more photons are coming out. If there's more photons, there's more photons hitting electrons and there's more electrons coming out. Okay, that makes sense. The second one is that the light intensity didn't change the energy of the electrons. Okay, so when we have brighter light, we have more photons. However, the energy of those photons don't change because the energy of each photon is given by the frequency of it, the color of it. Um, so that kind of explains it. When we have brighter light, sure, we're going to have more electrons coming off, but the energy that they get is not going to be any more, um, which is what we see in our experiment. So that also explains um, the second observation. The third observation was when we changed the frequency, we changed the energy of the electrons that came off. So Einstein said that the energy of a photon is um, proportional to its frequency. 
if we change the frequency of the photon, it increases the energy of the photon. The energy of that photon hits an electron, and therefore that increases the energy of the electron as well. So that is all explained by using this photon model of light. So we had our energy equation in the first um, ex first video on this, and we had um, this negative work function. That's like the energy well that the electron has to escape from. And to be able to escape from that, it needs to get energy from the light. Um, if it has enough energy, then it, it leaves with some kinetic energy. And the, the change that Einstein made to that is he said, well, the light's energy is given by HF. Um, and so this is the final photoelectric effect equation. So in summary, this photoelectric effect, um, it was a very important uh, stepping stone for humans in understanding what light was. Um, and when we first, um, when scientists first came up with it, the results were surprising um, because the wave model of light, which was currently the model of light, couldn't explain a couple of the results. So Einstein pr proposed that light is a quantum of energy or a, a packet of energy, and that packet is, or the energy of that packet is given by um, a number, h, times the frequency of that light. Um, we get an energy equation where the electrons in the metal are effectively in an energy well or an energy hole. Um, they have to get energy from the light and that gets them to escape uh, with some kinetic energy. So thanks to Young's double slit experiment, which we've talked about before, and now the second experiment, the photoelectric effect, um, we now think of light, light as both a wave, it has wave properties, and a particle. And so that's what a photon is. It is um, a wave particle duality. It has both properties of a wave and both properties of a particle.